Hello, uh, welcome back to 14 Mind Super Variants 2. I, I I had a lot of trouble clearing 10 8x8 plus ants. Um, I don't know if I did any, I think I did like 3 last episode and I did the rest off camera. Uh, but okay, and is over now, I feel like and is not very nice to me. Uh, plus is fine, and is not very fine, but uh, plus and just, plus and is not that bad actually compared to and for some reason. But I think I just, I just don't like and in general. Okay, but we're gonna leave all of that away. We're gonna do um, hashtag now. In fact, two hashtag, which is different from regular hashtag, apparently. Um. Oh, hashtag clues may have different rules. The rule of each clue is annotated individually. So, yeah. So you have your vanilla cross deviation area module product. Um, each each uh, clue has a separate variant that it might be from. It could be either from X D P M A. Uh, it won't be E or L because those involve second grid, which I think is here, maybe? Yeah, it's probably here. Uh, so yeah, so it's very just gonna be a regular box. Oh, and it's also gonna be encrypted or liar as it's... Okay, cool. So I guess second hashtag will have um, a secondary bot that includes uh, encrypted or liar then. Actually, didn't know that. Okay, well, I guess we can start doing this then. So if you remember how um, hashtag worked in the first game, it is basically just every clue is its own uh, variant and then you have to use the variant uh, locally to, s to solve it. But now we also have encrypted which makes things even worse, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but I guess it's sort of end at the same time which is slightly worse but whatever, it's fine. So I think we're also going to be only working with um, right side variants for this episode. Uh, but let's begin, there are some clues that are already given to us without having to uh, unencrypt them or decrypt them. So let's use those. The 2M obviously, um, man, it's gonna be pretty hard to explain all these rules. So I won't. Haha, <laughs> I won't. Um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to assume you all know what the rules are. So 2M obviously we can tell uh, has to be two mines. Um, hopefully you can see those mines there. I might just increase the brightness of those mines, make them even brighter. Yeah, there you go, pink, pink mines. Cool, so yeah, two mines over here to fulfill 2M. And now B X, uh, B, B um, for X means that B clearly has to just be one. This one vanilla. Well, this one vanilla and this 2M. This 2M, since it sees only three cells, must be just a regular two. And this one, two, um, sort of one, two pair here does work out pretty well. Uh, this one, one already sees one dark, so it must see one light. One P, P means product. Well, since it already sees one, it must see another one. Uh, A, E. Well, A and E are both at least one because they both see one of each color. Uh, D area, well D is obviously at least one because it already sees one touching it, so C is zero. Uh, okay, so there's one mine here and since it's zero, one, it already sees one mine, so these are both empty. One villa means one of these are mines, but I don't know which. Um, okay, well, A, E, because A and E are at least two and three, this thing is at least two plus three. And in fact, it must be 2 plus 3 because it can't reach 4. So it must just be 2 plus 3, meaning D is exactly 4. And having an area of 4 means that because uh, there is only one mine here, it must have an extra 3 area here. So this must expand out to here. And now that it hits for area of 4, uh, it must stop. So mine goes there. Are you hearing that? Is that my video? I think that's music. I, I don't know if it's like... It should be music though. Oh, I know why. Ha. <laughs> Alright. I'm so sorry if you heard that. Jeez, alright. Anyway, that was my bad. Um, yeah, alright, let's... Uh, I think we can solve this from here, really. Can we? What? Oh, right, I can tell this is definitely a mine. The reason why is because um, AE must be 2 and 3, and therefore this to total is exactly 5. There's already 4 mines around it, so that must be a mine that isn't. There you go. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Um, liar now. Okay, so these could all be liars actually. Yikes. Oh, that's actually really confusing. How do we even know? Oh my goodness. Okay. A lot of area going on here, so maybe that's how we try. Uh, or maybe this actually. This 1, 2, 2, 3 could also have some suspicion. If they were both correct, then they would differ by 2, so both of these are mines. Not entirely sure how that would help though. One modulo. Uh, 
Well... Okay, liar for area actually means that area could be different. Hmm. So supposing this one area was a lie, it could actually be a 2 or a 0. I think that's pretty like intuitive, even though even though if you actually notice, lie area has never shown up before in and, which is weird. But I guess it shows up somewhat now. Okay. Well, suppose these are both true, then you'd have mines fill up this entire thing. This three will now be a five, which definitely fails. Okay, uh, because yeah, this three becomes a five, which doesn't isn't how liar works. Liar only differs by one. So these can't both be true, and therefore must have one liar in them. So that happens. And now that there's one liar in them, they cannot differ by exactly two. They must be differ by exactly one, because they currently differ by two. If one of them was a liar, they would not differ by three. That's not possible. They would therefore differ by one exactly. So one of these are mines. Um. Okay. Now what else? What else can definitely be determined? I'll say like we could do the same thing here and figure out that there's exactly one liar here. Suppose these were both true. The one M would definitely have one mine in here. I mean the four then would have to grow out this way, but we can't really. We could say that this is the liar, and therefore I'll do something like this. Like this is valid, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well. If 1, 2 was a liar, it would it would not be able to be a 2, 2, because obviously there's only 3 cells. It would have to be a, uh, at least a, it would have to be a 0, 2 or a 1, 1. Do we know which? I don't know which. I don't think I would know which. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, this 3 is at least a 2, right? Which means that this is always a mine. And the reason for that is because if it was, and then this, you could only see a 1 at maximum. So this must be a mine. And because we know there's exactly one mine here, this isn't. There's a question mark. Okay. Hmm. Okay, if this is empty, then we know that... Then, I guess this 3 must be a liar, so this 2 must be correct, and therefore must see 2 mines here. This 1 would therefore be a liar. You'd have something that looks like this. Um... Hmm. It looks plausible. Whereas, if this was a mine, then they're connected. But... Hmm... I mean, they could both be telling the truth if you had a mine here and no mine here, then this would be the liar. And they would both be telling the truth, and this is valid. Or would it be valid actually? Hold on, hold on. This would not be valid, because once these are both correct, then these are both non-mines, which makes this a liar as well, and that breaks this row. So, these can both be right then. Yeah, these can both be right, okay. Which means that one of these must be a liar, so none of these are liars. Okay, there you go. Okay. Can we guess which one's the liar? If this was if this was telling the truth, then then it must grow because after seeing this it must continue seeing extra stuff. And then at that point, this one can't see things here or there because that would increase its area to three, which isn't possible. So this one is a liar and it's like a factor zero. This two would also be a liar forcing a mine here. Then you'd have something that looks like this. And that is if this was telling the truth. Okay, if this was telling the truth, then this would be lying. This would have an area of 2. However, if this happened, I mean, that's plausible, because you, you could have something that looks like this once again. But you could also have something that looks like this, because this could also be a liar. This is also valid. So there's no real way to figure out what's a mine and what's not, right? I think there's no real way. Maybe this cell? This cell does look pretty interesting. If this was a mine, then what happens? Then this clearly can't be a mine. Because of the 1. But in that case, this 3 now must be a liar. Because it can't be a 3 anymore, so it must be 2 only. This 2 must have be telling the truth and must do this, and that breaks 1. So this can't be a mine, so it's empty. There you go, okay. Now this cross... Ah, oh, this cross is definitely lying because there is no way you can- Oh, well, this mine could be part of 3, hold on. This could be telling the truth. If it was, this would happen. By this 1, this can't be a mine, therefore that would give you this. This 2 must see this, otherwise it would completely fail. And therefore it's telling the truth, therefore this is lying, but this- Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, so that can be a mine. So this is valid, right? Yeah, this is valid. So far. And I don't know if we can figure out anything else from here. 
Okay, well, what if this was lying then? Can we figure out what then happens? Could be a 2-3. But it, it can't really be a 2-3 because 2-3 will break this. It, it's probably therefore either a 1-2 or a 0-3. Or is a 0-3 possible? 0-3 is possible actually. Yeah, because you can have this and then... Well, okay. No, no, no. If this happened, 1 will be telling the truth. In which case, this would have to happen. This 2 is therefore impossible. Alright, so this can't be lying. It must be telling the truth. Wait, oh, I misclicked. I'm sorry. This is in fact telling the truth. Okay. Oops. Let's, let's restart. Um, so, this is a mine. This isn't. Therefore, this isn't. Now, therefore, we know this is telling the truth. And by telling the truth, it means that these are both mines. That's the only way to fulfill the 3. There is exactly one mine here as well. Uh, this now can't be a mine though because I will fill A, whether it was a liar or not, which means that's a mine. Um, this too must see something here, which means that's a liar. That's telling the truth, that's telling a lie. That's a mine. Alright. Uh, this 2-3. Oh, I guess that's just it then. Alright, because this 2-3 must be a 4 because it can't be a 5. Um, this one modulo is definitely lying then because it can't see 1 anymore. So this 4 is telling the truth and it already sees an area of 4, so it can't see anymore. Uh, and two mines remaining in two cells, so those are both mines. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh no, we finished. Oh, oh, this is the second puzzle, right? Okay. There you go. Okay. Second puzzle. I thought this was the first puzzle. I was like, how have we done this in like? Okay. That's fine. Let's keep going. More encrypted. A uh, route two. All right. Uh, B area B vanilla B deviation D vanilla. Ooh, and then route two. That's really weird. Just a random route two here. Alright, let's think about it. Um, if B was 0, then I mean, a lot of these would be fulfilled by just having these be empty. That's This is all valid. D would have to be 1, which puts a mine there, which is fine though. Um, but if B was something else, like say B was... I don't think B can be 3, right? No, nah, B could be 3. In fact, B could be 3 if you had mines in this specific layout. Like this actually does work for every set of B here. Right? Yeah. Could B be like a 1? B could be a 1 if this happened. But B can only be at 3 at maximum, so there you go. And I'm pretty sure if B was 0, these are both empty. If B was 1, we notice that this happened, which gives you that. If B was 2, this would have to be a mine for this B, which extends out but can never reach this. And if B was a 3, then once again, we know this has to happen. So these are both empty in all cases, which is really weird. Alright, now B can only be a 1 at maximum, because for this B, B, this is the only light cell. One modulo though. Meaning that what, there's one mine here? Yeah, because there's only three cells. In fact, if there was exactly one mine here, B now can't be zero because you can't have zero mines in total. So B is in fact just one. And if there's one mine here, then there's exactly one mine here. That for the root two does actually help because the root two cannot see two things that are one away. So that's empty. Um, all right, this is one area. So that's happening, that's happening. That is modulo, which is fulfilled. D vanilla. Well, whatever D sees here, this will also see. So that's empty. Uh, one module means one mine here, so that's a mine. This one one means this happens. Um, seven cells remaining. Well, I guess that's just every cell. There you go. Wow. Okay, so D is what? Two. And then you have A, C, and E, which are all just not used. Wow, okay. So this puzzle only has two numbers in it. Two and one. That's really, really cool. Uh, alright. That's actually really, really fascinating. I think that's, like, just impressive in general. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, alright. Ah, finally, product with- oh, product is liar, sorry. Everything can be a lie here. I was like, product with encryption? Whoa. No, but this- this- this can't be a- oh, this could be a 2. If this was a real 2, then you could have something that looks like this, right? That would fulfill this two area. But if this was a lie, and no, this can't be a lie, because for a lie we have to be one, which would require two things that are one way. So this is telling the truth, which gives you that, and therefore that. This two area could be lying though. Hmm. This one product could also be lying. In which case that would be a non-mine. But if this was telling the truth, that would fail. Because this would be a mine to fulfill the one, and therefore nothing here is a lie. So this must be lying. Therefore, it must be a one times two. Uh, therefore, this isn't a mine. Uh, therefore, this isn't a mine either. One deviation is definitely lying. So, this two areas telling the truth, which means that's empty and that's empty. 
Uh, alright, three area. Well, three areas, at least two areas, so that's a mine. Uh, three vanilla. Okay, so let's look at this one one. If this was telling the truth, then that's definitely a mine, that isn't. But we don't know. If this was lying, what could happen? We know this and this were both mines. Well, because at least one of these are mines from the three vanilla, which is true, what would then happen is you'd have something that looks like this, because you can't have only one mine here, otherwise this one one would be true. Or this would happen which fulfill, which fails one one because both numbers are wrong. So it would have to be something like this. And then this would happen and this would happen. Okay. So this would happen. And then... And then the problem with this is actually because you only have six mines here total, but the remaining number of mines is seven. So this actually fails for some reason, which means this has to be telling the truth. Well, if it's telling the truth, it must see one more of these. Alright. Um, one of these are lying. But which one? Don't know. If this was lying, then this is telling the truth, which means that this must be lying for the column. No, sorry, this is just a lie for the column. Sorry, that's a lie. So that's a lie, so that's a lie. Alright, there you go. This is lying, so it can't be a 3 mean. That's not a mine. Zero to... Well, I guess there's 6 mines remaining, so just all mines. This really happens a lot, doesn't it? Just mines everywhere. I guess in lie, you can really just a lot of the times figure out when something is not a mine, as opposed to the other way around, where we figure out something is a mine. That's a bit weird, but yeah, there you go. Alright, more encrypted. Hey, this is 2 root 5, but it's not encrypted either. Alright, well, 2 root 5 has a couple options. In fact, it has a lot of options. It's really like... A lot of things. Um, let's start with B and X. We know B and E now at most, at most one. No, because one of them could be like a three. This B, B, yeah. Okay. One product. Uh, could be a lot of things. In fact, this B could still be three, because you could have something that looks like this. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Alright, um, two, five. Well, two, five... If it saw a 1, it would need to see something else that's like root, what, 20? And root 20 is really far. Root 20 is actually a root 4 plus, 4 plus 16. So it's something that's 2 away plus something that's 4 away, which is just not plausible. You have to go somewhere like... One, two, three, four. It, would, it would be either this square or this square. And then everything else inside will be empty, save for a singular one mine here. So that's clearly not possible, which means none of these are mines. Uh, D, D, which means D is at most a 1. Um, can this be a root two times something? It can be a root two times. Uh, it could be a root two times a root two times a root five, and that would be just root ten, which is plausible. But a root ten is actually equal to root one plus nine, which means a one and a three away. So that would be this cell, uh, this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell. But those are not cells, which means that. You'd have a mine here, you'd have a mine here, and everything else inside which would well, would just be wrong. I think that just fails at the 2 root 2. So it can't be this either, we can use both non-mines. Now this 2 root 2 probably helps. This 2 root 2 I think... No, it doesn't call it itself. Alright, well this 2 root 5 has a very few options left. I think it is just a 2 times root 5. So it's, it's one of these, plus one of these at least. Well this 2 root 2... If it saw one here, definitely could not see... It will have to see something that's root 8 away, which which would be this. like So everything inside that would not be a mine. I think that does fill this 2 root 5, so this can't be a mine. Therefore, this must in fact just be a 2 root 2. So it's one here, and then one here, and then one here. Yeah. Okay. And then, I think everything outside that range is no longer in the purview of both of these clues, so... There you go. Oh, well, this one product is simple, it's just those two lines. Now this B is at least one. Ah, so this E must be the one at zero, because B can't be zero. There you go. Now D is exactly one, so both of these are mines. Therefore, for this two, five, this can't be a mine. One for means that's a mine, so B is at least one. Oh, B is two, in fact. So there you go. I think we can just call all of things now, yeah. Ta-da! And with one my ring, that's a mine. Cool. Uh, is this diagonally? No, it's not diagonally symmetrical. It is somewhat close to being diagonally symmetrical. We just shifted this over. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, more liar. Why are so many clues in liar? Oh, uh, Alright. 
hold on a short moment here. Alright, let's begin. Um, hmm. Two vanilla, zero modulo. I think one of these are liars. Like, I mean, they could both be liars. One vanilla, two product. Well, two product is definitely telling the truth, and the reason why is because one plus two, root two is not a not a valid product. Oh, and I guess this is also a mine because of root two. Yeah, it's one times root two. Okay, that's a mine. Uh, five deviation actually might be a lie. If this was telling the truth, then these are all mines. And that what would that break something? No, the zero will be telling the truth. This two, well, we don't know. Oh wow, it really does just work out, huh? Well, if this 0 was a lie, then this 5 would be a lie as well. Well, no, actually, it's even worse. If this 0 was a lie, this 5 just fails. Because for 0 to be a lie, it must become a 1. It can't become a 2. So that means only one of these are mines, and that just fails 5, because your maximum value would then be a 3, and then that wouldn't even work for a liar. But this 0 must be telling the truth. Which means, well, it can't be all empty, because a 5 again would be lying, would be just be wrong. So this 0 must just be all 3 of these being mines. Okay. Now this 5 could be a lie or could be a non lie doesn't really matter. This 2 could again be a lie or not, doesn't really matter, doesn't really help, doesn't really do anything. Although, although, if this was a lie, or if this was telling the truth, tell, sorry, then it must see all of these, which means these are both, this is a lie, and therefore this must be telling the truth. Or oh, this is not a lie. Wait, wait a minute, yeah, this would be a lie. This zero, uh, this one must be lying then, which means this is empty, which is which is fine because um, that that does fulfill this route too. All right, so what if this was a mine then? If this was a mine, then these are all empty. This zero must therefore be a liar. So does that mean that this is always empty? Yeah, I think this is always a non-mine. Yeah, that's really convoluted, but okay. Does it really help? Can these both be empty? I think both then fail. So. This can't be a mine then, because that would force this, which would then fill both of these, so this must be a non-mine. 3 area, which could be a lie, and in fact it must be a lie because of just the row, so that's a lie. I mean, it's, it's either a 4 or a 2. Um, if this was a lie, if this is a mine, then it clearly must be a 4 because... Oh no, it could be a 2, it could just do this. I think that's also valid. Yeah. Okay. Well, if this is a mine, then this 3... I don't know. Could be a four. In which case this is always a buy. But I am not very sure either. Was that yawn? Was that like, was that yawn very obvious? I think it was. It's okay. Really tired anyway. Alright, now what? One of these are mines. But whatever is here wouldn't affect the 3A. Um, okay, suppose this 5 is telling the truth, that actually that, that might break a couple of things. Because one of these has to be a lie, this would then have to be a lie because none of these are lies. That would cause this to be a lie, which would be a non-mine, therefore for this 3 to actually work. Hmm. Well this must be empty, which gives you another lie here and that just fails, because of this root, because of this mine. So 5 can't be uh, telling the truth, it must be lying. Okay, and therefore it's a 4. Um, if this is a mine, then this is empty. Does that really do anything either? I don't know. This is definitely a lie. This 3, well this can't be empty. I mean this could if we only saw 2. Or I could see 4, it's also valid. Um, that's a mine. I don't know. Okay, well we know this 5 is definitely a 4. I don't know how it would fix that though. Like how would, how would I solve the 4? Uh, if this is empty, then this 3 is definitely just a 2 because it can't be a 4 anymore. But I don't know how I'll fix that. If this is empty, the same thing happens. Oh, it could, it could grow out here. I mean, that's also valid. Uh, it might be another liar thing. Like if this is telling the truth, then this is empty, but this is a liar. It will cause this to be a liar. It will cause this to be a liar. Oh, but if this is a liar, then this would definitely just be a liar at the same time because this is not a mine. So this can't be a liar. Therefore, this is a mine. Or which is, this is a liar, sorry, which means that's empty. Which means that's a mine, which means this zero now must have a mine here because it's telling the truth. 
This turn is lying, so therefore that's lying. Therefore this 5 is a 4, which means that's not a mine. This 3, well, I don't know. This 1, 3 is definitely telling the truth though, so it must all be mines. This 3, uh, well, it must be lying, so that must be a mine. There you go. Sweet. So this 3 was in fact a 4. Cool. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, B, B, definitely B is definitely just at most a 1. A, V, A is definitely most a 2. C, again, C is definitely most a 2, E as well. Which means D and E are therefore 3 and 4, so none of those are mine uh, are possible. C deviation with C being such a small number is interesting. But I'm not entirely sure. Alright, I don't think B can be 1? No, B could be 1, because if B was 1, then you can't have mines both here, but you could have something that looks like this. And then and then this would all happen. That's fine. Um, okay, but if this was a mine, I think that would be fairly interesting. None of those are mines anymore. Hmm. But would that really do anything? B is confirmed to zero though. Maybe if this is a mine? If this is a mine, then this happens. And now and now B can't be a one. So this fails. So this can't be a mine. Now B A. Uh if this is a mine, then these are all empty. This fails, right? Because now this has to be a mine for this because B is now one, but now this B fails because it was a one, but now it's two. So this can't be a mine. Two modulo. Well, B, well, B now can't be 1 because the dark cells are 0. So B is in fact 0. So these are all empty. A is at least 1. There's at least one mine here. I mean, that's kind of obvious already. Well, if there were one mine here, then clearly none of these can be mines. Because if this was a mine, then you'd be able to clear out all of these cells. But the same goes for if that was a mine. So these are both non-mines? Oh, it could be root 2 times root 2. I forgot that was a thing. Whoops. Yeah, that's my bad, honestly. Uh, I should have figured that out. Um, okay, so now there you go. Oof, I almost clicked on this mine uh, cell. I don't know if it's a mine or not. Okay, so now A and C are 1 and 2. Meaning that this one is uh, definitely just adding to 3 in total. Now I don't know how many A exactly is because it could still be a 2 like this. A uh, 2 modulo is also a 2. I guess that means there's, a, a, there's at least one mine here, right? Because it's too modulo. Meaning that this can't happen. Because if this did happen, then these are both empty, which fails. So it must in fact be like this. And because it's, there's one mine here, and they can't both be mines, this is also a mine. There's exactly one mine here. A is at least one, so that's a mine. In fact, A is exactly one. So C is exactly two. Uh, because there's one mine here, then these are both mines. This D... Uh, well, I mean, D is a lot, but I don't know what else that could be. Uh, there's exactly one mine here, which... I mean, it could be this, so that's valid. It's fine. Two deviation though, it's really interesting. There's at most one mine here. Ah, and therefore D, seeing at most one mine here, can only see exa exactly one more mine here to make three. So D is exactly three, E is four. There's a mine here, there's no mine there, as a result. Oh, I love encrypted so much. Um, And five remaining? Well, we know there's exactly one mine here. And we know there's one mine here by this one V. That leaves two. So for the five remaining, the remaining three cells are all mines. There you go. 4 vanilla means that, and I think that's all done. No more mines remaining. Yay, alright, that was fun. Uh, let's keep going, shall we? I should, uh, I just, I just realized. Um, oh, yeah, I'm getting distracted, am I? Yikes. Alright, it's okay. Liar again. Oh, wow, this is actually really minimal for Liar. Wow, this actually looks like a very nice board. But we could probably figure out some stuff here. Like one deviation, three products. See, three product is definitely a liar because you need, uh, you know, there's no way the, the, I mean, okay, in reality, there is a singular way to get to three and it's just one times three. But if you think about it, one times three isn't really a thing, right? The only things that are three away are here and here. And so sparing any cell that's one away, you would have to clear out everything that is, you know, within the range. And so all these are empty. Um, I mean, is that even, like, possible? Is this, is this even a valid board anymore? Like, this, this deviation is definitely lying, but we know this piece was telling the truth anyway. Um, well, I mean, you could just keep going and say, uh, how many cells are there remaining? One, two, three, four, five, there are exactly ten cells remaining, which means they're all mines. And this technically works, but the it, it breaks three and four. So both of these are mines are, are lies, which is definitely wrong. So, um, very very 
Uh, interestingly, three would work, but it would break these two cells, so it doesn't. So this must be a lie. See, it, it doesn't even like auto click as a mine. You have to automate automatically. Uh, you have to manually click it as a non lie as a lie, uh, and that's because this happens. Anyway, this is probably a two. I'm gonna assume that four is impossible because three is impossible. This one is kind of true, so one of these are mines. Meaning this two must in fact be a root two times root two, so none of these are mines. Zero modulo, well means these are both non mines, therefore that is a mine, therefore that is a mine to fill this three, which is actually a two. This one is lying, so this two is time of truth, which means those are both mines. One to time of truth, which means that's empty, and one of these are mines. Four deviation, which means those are all deviations, so that's empty. Three could be telling a lie, meaning that's a mine. Uh, I don't know how that will work though. If this is a mine, then that also works. Four deviation. Well, that's definitely lying because it already sees five cells. Uh, and so one of these are lies, and then one of these are lies. Okay, well, if this was a lie, that might be interesting because three is definitely a lie, but four is now telling the truth. However, notice that because of this three being a four, it must all be closed up now, which now breaks the four. So this can't happen, which means three is probably a flat out three. Or maybe it's not. Maybe this has to extend, right? Yeah, because it's four. Um, if this three was accurate. Well, then this 4 could be a 3 by having a mine here, here, and here. Ah, but if 3 to 3 was accurate, that would fail. The reason why is because you would have to close this off. 4 would become a 3, and by becoming a 3, now it gives you 0 liars in column A. So 3 can't be telling the truth, it is a lie. So that's a lie. Um, now this 4 must be actually a 4, which means that. Um, now this 3 is definitely a 4, which is done, so this happens, and therefore your last mine is here. Ta-da! Alright, very complicated, but... That probably works out. Oh gosh, alright. Oh, encrypted it is. Alright, C and E are definitely all at most one. Uh, and therefore nothing else can be at most one. B area, well B is at least three. Uh, D is at least two, which is interesting. Zero modulo. D deviation. At least two, huh? B deviation. At least two. Oh, uh, I mean I guess D is not four, yeah, that's pretty obvious. If D was 3, it's something very interesting. Yeah, D can't be 3. If D was 3, you'd have this by force. The 0 now sees 4 cells, and therefore must see 2 more to make a 0 mod 3. This B is now a 0, because it's B deviation. Uh, 6, sorry. And 6 is not valid, so. Uh, so D can't be 3. Which means D is 2. B is at least 3. Um, okay. So B is at least 3. If... Well, we know this is exactly a 1, because it's a 0 plus 1. So if this happened, then... I don't know. I would guess that this can't be empty, because then this would break deviation. Very, very likely something like this would have to happen. Right. Because these can't both be empty, otherwise B would break. So one of these are mines, which means these are both empty. This can't be a mine, because if this happened, then this is empty, which breaks B again. So this has to happen at the very least, which must extend out at the very least. Um, if this were a mine, I think maybe something similar will happen where this happens. So I think these are both non-mines? Yeah, alright. C area, well C is at most 1. C vanilla, which means C is at most 1. Um, could C be 0? If C was 0, then these are both mines. Which does work, B is at least 3, which means that must happen. And then that, which means B is actually a 4. That would happen, that would happen. And then I guess it's 0, which means that has to happen. Now B, which is uh oh, and that failed, right? that B is just way too high. So I don't think C can be a 0, I'm gonna say on a whim that C is a 1. No, I was right. Uh, okay. So, now what? Well, I suppose this being empty, we already saw, probably fails because this happens. B must now extend because B is at least 3. This 2, 2x two means that must extend. And now this 0m. Well, 0m could now do this though. And then that would work out actually. Right? And then this could be empty. Then this 1 means that could be empty. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, if this was empty, we know this is empty. If this had a mine in it, then, then by 1, this is empty. So this is always empty. Nice, alright. I mean, it's not very useful, but okay. Um, if... If... 
No, I don't think I see anything there. This is B and zero see the same thing. Oh, well, that's really cool. Wait, actually, like this is actually like actual math here. B and zero mod three are the same value. So B is zero mod three. Well, B is congruent to zero mod three, and therefore B has to be three. Wow. Okay. So now this is an area of three, which means that I think this has to be a mine. Yeah, because if it wasn't, then these are all mines, which breaks the zero one. Um. So that's a mine, which now means what? If this is a mine, then this is empty, which means that happens. So if this is a mine, then that breaks the V, I think. So this has to be a mine as well. And now you have one mine in here and one mine in here. Um, okay, if this happened, you'd have something that looks like this. Uh, if this happened, then by deviation, these are both empty, which breaks. So this can't be a mine. Uh... Therefore, this has to be a mine. Therefore, this has to be empty. Therefore, this is a mine that breaks that. That breaks that. Breaks? No, this solves that. And I think everything else should be solvable at this point. Three mines remaining, so all those are mine. Cool. Alright, let's do one more before we're done for the episode. Six. Oh, that could be a lie. Well, one deviation here is definitely a lie because it's already zero. So this six is telling the truth, which means that besides seeing two here, it must be at least four more. So that's a mine, definitely. One, one, X telling the truth, so that's a mine. One of these are mines. Um, can't tell if that does anything though. Is this zero could still be time or true? It could be a three. Oh, actually no. This six and three vanilla are really weird, because six here really sees everything in this area, right? Because everything else is blocked off. Um, it only sees two mines here, so it must have four mines in this region, and that would make this a liar already. So this is a liar. I mean, this is a four, and with four here, it must see another one there. So that happens. Oh, root two. Oh, that's definitely time or truth. That's a mine. Um, okay, so this is a four. I don't know what that says about this. Zero? Well, if this happened, then what? Then I guess this would have to happen. Uh, this would be telling the truth, which means this would have to be... I mean, this could be a telling the truth as well, if one of these were lies. Hmm. I mean, zero most likely is just a one overall. If this was in fact a 1, I don't know how it would fix that. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know. This has to be a mine because if it wasn't, the 6 will only see 5 total, so that's a mine. Um, it could extend further, but if it extended further, this would be a lie. We'll have to see only uh, one mod, which means that it's always empty. So if this is a wait, but could this be a mine? If this is a mine, then that's a lie. But then you have something that looks like this. This must be telling the truth. Which means this, and this would be lying. But that's all valid. That's all fine. I think. Hmm. Okay. Now what? Well, question: Could this six see nothing from the bottom? It would have to grow out here and then here. You'd have to have to. Uh, this would have to be a lie, definitely. And you have to empty all of these. This would be a telling the truth. This would be ah. This zero is just failure because it can't even see two anymore. So no, it can't be empty here. So it has to see at least one mine there. But I guess if you had like a mine like here randomly, I guess then. I mean, nothing really happens, right? This would be lying. This would be lying. But this. It'll be telling the truth. And then I don't know where the liars would be. A couple more, but I couldn't find them. I don't think I can find them. I suppose. This would have to be a liar, because a liar can't be here. Which means this isn't a liar. Which means the liar would have to be here, which means that would have to be a mine. Ah, I guess that's fine. I don't really see what's wrong with that. And then one of these are mines to fill the final mine count. If this is a mine though, and then both of these are empty, would that break anything? That's a lie, that must be telling the truth, that must be a lie. But I already sees one, so those are all empty, which means that's always a mine. And where did that stem from? From the fact that this is a mine, right? Hmm. Could this be a mine? If this was a mine, then these are all empty. And this, this is lying. This zero is telling the truth, which means... 
For this 3 means that it must be a minor, which means this is lying. Which means that's empty. But then you could put a mine you could have mine there and there to uh get it. Oh wait, if this is a mine then these are both empty, which breaks a six, so this has to be empty. This is not a mine. Alright, there you go. Uh zero three is telling the truth, so in fact it must be three lights and zero darks. Cool. That's definitely lying, therefore that's telling the truth, therefore it's empty. This one deviation telling the truth is one mine keeping the zero V is lying, which means that and that. Uh now this two V means one mine here, therefore that's a mine. This must be a mine for the one deviation, therefore no mines remain, therefore that's empty. Ta-da! Okay, there you go. Oh, that is a lot. And now we have a lot of code. Whoa, wow. Perfect 10 levels of plus 2 hashtag to unlock 2e to hashtag. I thought that was a thing already. I mean, I guess it really wasn't, but like, it's probably like here somewhere. Oh, that's 2e2l. This is probably 2e2 hashtag. No, that's 2l apostrophe. I didn't even know that was a thing. I guess it's from unlocking this, right? What is this? Oh, it's... Okay, it is just the specific combinations. Which I think you can find in here. Yeah, these five. So five from E, five from L. And then you have the E hashtags and then the L hashtags. Which are why you unlock from here. Yeah. And then ten levels of these to unlock the um, harder versions. Okay. Cool. Uh, a pretty interesting unlock structure here. And I still have to work on the uh, gallery. What is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, this is going to be such a huge grid. It's going to be very long. It's not going to be huge, but it's going to be very long. Because there's nothing down here. But it's going to be it's going to be so incredibly long. Alright. What's this? Oh, it's... Okay, that's a finish mark. Alright. Well, there you go. That's five of... That's ten of these. It's 200 total. Uh, I guess 100 from each... Uh, each variant. Uh, e and L. But alright. I don't know if I want to, like... Um, you know, continue this. But I think I'll end off the episode here. So until then, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.